Hey YouTube, this is Apostle Stacy Woods and you're watching Dimensions of Stacy. I am here in the office answering your questions and uh, this viewer writes, Dear Apostle Stacy, last night I went to see the movie Joyful Noise and I didn't particularly care for some of the things that I saw in this movie. There were some parts I liked and some parts that I felt showed disrespect to the church. Some examples would be the hip hopping in the church and the singing of secular music in the church. There was also some scenes that I felt mocked the church ways. There was a competition and during their performance they appeared to be shouting and speaking in tongues which I thought was very over the top. And I was curious to see what your thoughts about this movie were. If you've seen it, would you please do a video sharing what you think. Be blessed. Okay. I did actually have an opportunity to go see Joy noise with my sister and my nephew and uh, we actually enjoyed the movie very much so of course like you mentioned um, it's definitely um, questionable at times so you know I, I wanted to kind of mm, touch on this now it's it's really kind of up to I suppose your own personal convictions and what areas you're sensitive in in your spiritual walk with God um, I believe that I'm at a place in my walk with the Lord where things don't easily offend me um, when I go and watch movies I'm, I'm not going to receive a word from the Lord I'm not going to get biblical instruction I'm not expecting Hollywood to uh, present to me a biblically sound um Bible study or anything of that of that nature uh, that depicts the church and the things of the church. Now, when we went to go see this movie, it was awesome because we were actually in the movie theater alone. So it was just me, my sister, and my nephew. So we were able to talk out loud and laugh loud at the point. We really enjoyed it. I just feel like God just did that for us. So, there were some scenes where we just kind of said, oh, no. For instance, um, <laughs> we were making jokes we were like, these folk ain't sanctified. Because when um, they went into the uh, choir room and one of the young ladies was cursing and then another one was, what, smoking. And then there was also a young lady in the movie who was having an affair with another choir member. And it was actually encouraged. And a scene in the movie showed them actually kissing right there in front of the church and going home, come on here, and having intercourse, sexual intercourse, uh, and, of course, the scene didn't play out in the movie, but it was implied when they got in the bed together and woke up the next morning. So, I mean, it was like, whoa, okay, and y'all still singing in the choir, huh? Y'all still in the church. The pastor ain't got nothing to say. Now, had they would have been uh, our church, honey, they would have been sat down for a couple of months uh, and been encouraged to come to the altar and repent. Might have been, if you're real old school, might have been called out. And said, okay, um, yeah, sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so, uh, we have uh, been informed that you all are living in a adulterous uh, relationship, uh, fornication or what have you. Uh, so that, of course, wouldn't have been celebrated. And, of course, as you mentioned, there are other, um, you know, there are other uh, scenes in the movie that are also questionable. Because I did have to turn and ask my sister, I said, are they trying to speak in tongues? Or what, what, what was that supposed to be? Because there was a scene in the movie, and not to give the movie away, if you have ha, um, if you um, have not seen Joe Noise and you want to see it, you may not want to, you know, because I don't want to give the whole movie away. But in the singing competition part, yes, uh, in the choir scene, they were uh, shouting, and uh, I guess they was trying to speak in tongues. I, I don't know, because I turned and asked my sister. I said, and she said, girl, I think so. Okay, so anyway, but overall, I still truly believe um, that in comparison to the other junk that we can sometimes see on the big screen, um, you know, it had its moments. And there was some profanity, too, by some of the choir, some of the choir members was cussing, honey. And, um, yeah, so 
again, we don't, we, we, like, we don't go to the movies uh, for our standard of holy, sanctified, spirit-filled living. Okay, we go to the movies to be entertained. But if you were watching that and something in your spirit was grieved, then I would say to you, you know, be careful and be led of the Lord in what you allow to go before your eyes and into your ears. Okay, if that's an area of sensitivity to you, then please, by all means, obey your convictions. I'm not going to say I was necessarily convicted not to watch it because I know right from wrong. And as a mature believer, I'm able to look on look on the screen and I know the difference between Hollywood make-believe and them trying to juice up a storyline and what's actually the biblical way that we are to live our lives when we are in a position of music ministers, because that's what we are. We're not choir members, music ministers in the church of God. I also couldn't understand why Dolly Parton robe was so tight. I'm like, everybody else in the choir has uh, a nice, fitting, modest robe. Because robes are for modesty. That's why you wear robes, for modesty. You don't wear robes to show off all your shape. But honey, Dollar, not Miss not Miss Dollar Parton. Miss Dollar Parton had to have hers tapered. So all her girls could be, you know, uh, speaking to the people. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Okay, but only Dolly Parton, I guess, can get away with that. And again, this is not a judgment. That's just the, the, how it was. And you say uh, hip hop in and different things, different movements that they were doing in the choir. Now, I've seen some gospel music artists do far more than what they did on that uh, movie. So, uh, again, go with their conviction. Go with how the Lord is leading you. And, you know, when we watch these things, we are supposed to get... A check up in our spirit if it's something that um, is contrary to the word of God. Because I know, like I said, on several scenes uh, in the movie, I turned to my sister. I said, now, did, uh, now, 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 how's she in the choir, but she's sleeping with the choir member? How is that all right? But you know what? I guess we can say it's real life. Because that's actually going on in some choirs. The competition and the little rivalry and all of that. Of course we know all of that happens in the choir. Even the young lady and the young man that were, I mean, they were kissing and all kind of stuff right there in front of the church. And I'm like, honey, I know this ain't no uh, whole this church. I know this ain't no apostolic sanctified church, honey. Because, baby, I tell you, the mothers of the church would have had you for lunch if you tried that. So, again, overall, I thought the movie was a good movie. Um, light-hearted movie. It was a movie that I would even be willing to go see again. Um, my nephew loved the movie because he's a musician. And, of course, he just loved the musical uh, arrangements that he did. Now, I, would, I don't know because I don't make it a practice to listen to secular music. But I know that a lot of the songs that they did on the film were kind of revamped and turned into uh, gospel songs by adding the name of Jesus here and there and I got a couple of feelings about that, but for the purpose of just watching a movie, I thought that was one of the better movies out there that I would actually say I feel comfortable, you know, uh, seeing again without having to, you know, rebuke the, the devil all out. But we do have to know the difference. Church is not a perfect place, so the movie was not filled with perfect characters, okay? So those are my two cents. You asked me about my opinion about it, sharing what I think. And here it is. I'm sharing what I think. So, um, there you go. And I do pray that you uh, enjoy Jesus and all his joys. And I want to thank you all for making ministry possible.